What's going on everyone? So you're thinking about buying a house, you have to choose a lender to move forward with. What lender do you move forward with? What's going on everyone? So you're thinking about buying a house, you have to choose a lender to move forward with. What lender do you move forward with? It, it's a great question and it's one of the most important decisions that you're gonna make when you're buying a property. There's really certain criteria that I look for in every lender that my client uses or that I recommend to my clients and this is the criteria that I use. Number one, they have to be honest. But honestly, you're dealing with money, you're dealing with a lot of money and there's a lot of sketchy people out there. They can promise you the best rates, but when, you, when you're about to close, there's fine print that bumps up that rate, that bumps up your monthly payments, and that could be extremely frustrating. Number two, you have to be competent, right? And again, it's, it's like anything else. I don't care if you're a manager at McDonald's or if you are um, a teacher, a, a fireman, anything that you do, there's varying degrees at people and how, um, how much pride they take into their work. Right? That's just the reality of it. So you want to work with someone that knows what they're doing. They've had their feet to the fire. They've experienced everything you can imagine in a transaction. So if something comes up, they know exactly how to handle it. And I can't say that for all lenders. Actually, I would say that only about top 5% of lenders know what they're doing to the extent that they need to know what they're doing. Number three is they need to have um, relationships within their organization. Tell another story on another video, but when the lender um, and whoever's representing you has connections with um, the underwriter, the appraiser, organization, they can make that process a lot smoother for you because when they need something done, they can contact them directly and make sure it gets done. If you're working for a bigger company, like let's just say Wells Fargo, you're getting a, a, a loan through Wells Fargo, you know how big Wells Fargo is? You know how many appraisers and underwriters they have? The, the reality is they most likely don't have that same relationship that some of these smaller firms have or these smaller banks have. Now, again, uh, I could be wrong. There might be a, an anomaly where they do have a great relationship with them, but for the most part, we like to play the statistical odds and statistically, they don't have those relationships. This is probably the biggest one, is rates, right? Everyone wants to get the lowest rates. And again, what someone's promising you up front could be different from what you're going to end up with as your monthly payment when everything's said and done. So you don't want the cheapest, you want the best. This is your most expensive purchase that you are most likely ever going to make in your entire life and you want the best person on it. Now I'm not saying go with someone that has these ridiculous rates. Be consciously aware that someone that can offer you the lowest rates and at the end not really know what they're doing or their cookie cutter, you're ultimately going to lose money because they're not going to be able to strategize a plan for you, right? Because they're just going to throw you through the system and you're going to end up losing money, right? It's this idea of um, loss aversion versus abundance. Right, so work with the best when it comes to that as well. The last one, and I, and this is a huge one as well, is that you want someone that has systems in place, right? The best lenders get busy. They get busy because they do a good job, right? And if they get busy and they don't have systems in place, then who who loses in that? The, tr the client loses because they don't have time to hold their hand through the transaction. So you want someone that says, hey, on week one, we need the documentation. On week two, we need this documentation. We're three weeks in, this is how far along we should be in the process. That should be documented on a Google Calendar or some type of system, right? They have to have these systems in place in order to create a smooth transaction, in order to not wait into the very last minute when my clients are about to close and ask for all the documentation and everyone freaks out you know and trying to collect documentation so we can close on time the closing doesn't happen on time you have to rearrange the moving company all this just chaos happens right so you want someone who's good at what they do but, they, but not only are they good they have the systems in place to make sure that everything runs extremely functional as well if you want to talk with the lender, please let me know. I just, the way that we compiled the lenders that we use is we've used lenders in the past. If they do a good job for us, 
we continue to use them. The moment they start lacking that customer service, we let them know um, or you know, we go somewhere else. But the number one way that we really choose lenders is that, or at least how I've gathered my lenders, is that when I first started in the business years ago, Clients would want to bring their own lender because that lender was referred by a family member. So I'd be like, okay, whatever, let's let's try your lender out. So we take on their lender, we use them, and they do an amazing job. Not all the time. I, this is probably one out of ten lenders that are, that a client wants to bring in actually does a good job. So they do a good job. Let me give them another client. The, they do an amazing job for another client. Over time, we've accumulated three to four lenders that just absolutely crush it with all those criteria I just rec that I just said. Um, so if you want to talk with the lender, you, if you want to get an idea of how much you can afford, how much your monthly payments would be, let me know. I can make that connection with you, um, or, or I can connect you both and, and go from there. But if you have any questions regarding real estate, or if you want any questions answered regarding real estate, feel free to reach out. We'd love to be able to answer any of those questions for you. Till next time.